Welcome to the EG Media Show, where we bring you weekly current events in the world of entertainment. We are the source for you to get your movie scoops, television series, and any other media we can gain insights to bring you. We thank you for taking the time to join us weekly, and we will always make sure to give you nothing but the best in the latest news, and now your host Mike, or as we like to call him Mr. Review. What's up, EG Media fans? Uh, today's show, uh, we are looking at uh, going over, uh, you know, as usual, we go over some um, uh, entertainment information, we'll go over some movies, some TV news, and uh, possibly we may finish off with a little bit of uh, comic information, comic book information coming up. Uh, well, today is the uh, fourth. We're, uh, we're, you know, we're dropping the uh, video kind of late this week. My apologies, we've been busy with other stuff. But this week we may we're going to be dropping two videos, one for the fourth and one for the eleventh. So uh, you'll have a lot of uh, information going forward. Uh, what I'd like to start today, uh, I want to go over some of the uh, general entertainment news uh, we've been seeing in the uh, in the world of movies and comics and etc. Uh, two two things I'd like to ch touch upon on the uh, entertainment front. Uh, the Sherlock Holmes 3, <clears throat> excuse me, um, is looking like it's going to happen with uh, <clears throat> Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law playing uh, Dr. Watson. Uh, Warner Brothers has finally confirmed the third uh, film is, is in the works. Uh, I actually like that. Uh, I've enjoyed the first and second installments. The first one was uh, sort of introducing the character and uh, I love uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s take on it. Obviously, it's been sort of put on the side for the past two or three years, I want to say, because not only did uh, Robert Downey Jr. have several um, several other uh, tasks and, you know, uh, movies he was working on. We don't want to mention, obviously, Avengers. Uh, Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, they were kind of following e each other. That may have taken at least a good three, four years right there. And Jude Law was also involved in other projects. Uh, he also actually did a movie with uh, with the Marvel Studios. He was in the Captain Marvel. He was the, uh, you know, he was the uh, arch nemesis of uh, the, the bad guy in the, in the movie with uh, Captain Marvel in that one. So, <clears throat> I guess with them freed up now, and they can focus more on other projects, uh, they, they've decided that they're going to move forward with this uh, movie. And good for them. Uh, I, for one, am going to enjoy watching it. Uh, Sherlock Holmes has been a, you know, a great character, a mystery character, uh, for me and for many, many fans to come. And I think it's going to be a great uh, movie. And I, for one, am going to uh, be looking forward to checking that out. Moving on from Sherlock Holmes, uh, I uh, saw something very, very cool um, the other day on uh, one of the uh, media outlets. Sith Trooper designed um, Stormtroopers. Sith, tro Sith Troopers, they're called. Um, very interesting. They uh, they're clad in, uh, as you see in the uh, the red uniform. Uh, the Sith Trooper design. Uh, it's from the uh, Rise of the Rise of Skywalker, which is coming up, <coughs> which is Episode Nine, basically. Uh, officially got revealed ahead of the uh, San Diego Comic Con. Uh, Lucas Films is uh, is again forging. Uh, you know, they're forging a panel to promote their upcoming blockbuster. Um, the studio still plans on having a presence at next week's convention. Um, I'm hoping, <clears throat> speaking of Star Wars, uh, just to kind of touch base upon, you know, what's been going on with the new uh, episode 7, 8, and 9. Um, I, myself, uh, and you, you folks have probably, you know, it's been done to death as far as talking about Star Wars and, you know, there's two camps, you know, there's the camp of, 
I hate it. And there's the camp of, uh, you know, you guys have to be open-minded to what these people are doing. And, and I'm in the I'm in the camp of, you know, I'm in the middle as far as that goes. I mean, it's a movie. You know, no one's no one's gonna die from a bad movie or a bad series. But my question is. If you have something that's worked all these years, why, why, why do you feel the urge or the compulsion to reinvent the wheel? Um, you know, speaking from a fan's point of view, I grew up on Star Wars myself. If you have something that's that's not broken, that's working, that's made you know a, a, a ton, a ton of fans and people that love the series, why would you come and you know? mess with it, tweak it, and change it to where it's, it's just completely something else. Um, I understand if you wanted to just completely, you know, flip the script on the Skywalkers. I get it. You know, I get that. You want to change the page and let's move on, people, and let's start new stories. Well, y you don't do that, you know, right in the middle of the of the third, you know, of the, sec the second part of the, of the three-part series. You know, you can do that in the last movie where, you know, you can you can have the, the culmination of all these stories meet at the end and, you know, Luke can go on his merry way, be one with the Force. Leia becomes, you know, Mary Poppins and flies off into space and Han Solo, you know, could have, you know, jumped in the Millennium Falcon with Chewie and just, you know, rode off into the sunset. But to just completely dismantle, you know, all the the extended storylines outside of the movies that were already set up uh, I don't know I think it was a little bit too much for me I would have I would have started with episode 7 kind of made it um, you know more of a continuity I mean it seems like the it seems like episode 7 is more of a different series it just doesn't even seem like it just doesn't even seem like it's continuous with the with episode six it just seems disjointed to me and that's the problem the problem i had i have with it is that it's not the fact of sure you want to come up with new ideas and what have you it's the fact of it, it you started it off so disjointed to begin with from the original storylines you know um you know bring back luke as a jedi master you know show that storyline show show how snoke became who he was and show that you know don't just come in and you know everything is just a mishmash of ideas and nobody gets it i mean the fans don't get it you have you know on the other side where you know people that are of the me personally i don't see them as fans of star wars i see them more of you know people that just want to seem like they're uh, they just want to go along to get along i don't i, don't, I just don't agree with the, the way they look at it oh like you can't say that episode seven and eight were good movies. I mean, I just, again, my opinion, and it's the majority of the fans. To me, that you know, they don't like the movies. You know, but you know, be that as it may, <clears throat> I'm hoping that that they write the ship with episode nine. You know, I, I, I don't have much high hopes for it, but I will. I'll give it a shot. You know, I'll give it a shot, and I'll see. You know what they come up with. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, they write the ship and. And, and we can all have a movie we can enjoy uh, to end the the series of, of the uh, you know the first you know first nine episodes so going from uh, going from one sci-fi space uh, space show to another um, this week they released a uh, pretty cool uh, Star Trek poster and it's just Patrick Stewart, uh, and it's for the, I believe, the upcoming show, Picard. Um, and he's there, you know, if you see the poster, it's, it's pretty cool. He's there sitting, in, you know, standing basically in front of a farmland. And he's got his dog next to him and, you know, looking out into the sunset. And it's sort of very, the picture itself is very... Uh, it's it's thought provoking. It's like it, it shows that he's contemplating, you know, his life and how, what it's meant. Uh, not much to not much to go upon as far as how the show is going to go. Uh, I'm I'm 
I'm very sh I'm very certain that it's going to be a typical uh, Star Trek episode, you know, Star Trek show where you have very interesting storylines. Uh, but um, you know, at this point, uh, I hope you know I hope they let I hope they let you know Picard be you know who he was in the original uh, Star Trek Next Generations. I hope they don't change the character. Now, maybe I'm just speaking for last segment's uh, issues as far as Star Wars, where they take a character and just completely change him, thinking that that's something uplifting for the character. I mean, making a character weaker and seeming to be more of as if they've given up on the world does not make the character more interesting, in my opinion. Making the character more interesting is what makes a character interesting. I mean, write a story that makes the character compelling. Uh, you know, it's not a r simple formula where oh, let's just let's r let's uh, you know cast you know let's cast the character as more downtrodden. That's going to make the character more interesting. I, I don't I don't believe that. I don't follow that. I believe that you make the character more interesting, more appealing in your writing. Make the writing compelling. Make the storyline compelling, and you know have the character and actor uh, you know work through that. You know, and people can see that. That's what it was in the. In my opinion, in the original shows, I think the original shows were very interesting. So hopefully, the you know hopefully that'll be interesting. It'll be, it's on the CBS. Uh, I guess it's on the CBS uh, pay, you know, pay channel they're coming up with. I, I don't I don't get it. Everybody's coming up with a pay channel. Pretty soon we're all going to have to be paying for individual channels. Uh, that's just ridiculous. But that's just my opinion. And hopefully, we, hopefully it'll be a good show for fans. We we'll see. You know, time will tell. So, uh, last but not least, uh, I want to end the show off uh, with uh, some interest. It's an interesting title they want. They want to come up with in Marvel. It's going to be a mini series uh, this fall. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be called Contagion uh, this October. Uh, it seems like it's going to be. Um, you know, it's going to be a, a storyline that kind of follows. Uh, an outbreak uh, that that's going to befall all the heroes, and they're going to basically be in this zombie state. Uh, I mean, they've done similar storylines before. Uh, it's just uh, you know, I looked at it. I thought it would be interesting. Uh, we'll see what happens as far as that goes. Now, I don't know how it would work as far as uh, affecting a, a character like Wolverine. Well, guys like Wolverine or guys like. In fact, any hero that has super healing, I never got that. Where uh, you know a, a hero that has super healing factor, but they they come, they fall prey to a certain you know disease or virus, you know. But that's that's all in the writing. So we'll see. Uh, that's coming out in October. You know, just to make it in time for Halloween, and I, I hope I hope that's going to be entertaining. So, you know, that's that's pretty much today's show. I appreciate you folks listening. Uh, there will be another one uh, coming up uh, very soon for to for this week's show as well. As this recording is for last week's show. Uh, but if you like what you hear, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell for uh, so you can get notifications on upcoming shows. And once again, as always. Thanks for listening. Take care and we will uh, we'll talk soon.